What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman, and let's do a quick update on Penn Stock, one that Dave Portnoy himself will be excited about. As we know, Dave Portnoy and Barstools no longer work with Penn, but he does say that he owns and will remain a holder of Penn as he believes they will have good upside potential, and I am seeing that on the charts now. So let's dive right into it. We have been interested in Penn since this news here. This was the pump and the dump when uh, Penn kind of dropped Barstools stools and said they were creating a partnership with espn once this rally happened people were foaming at the mouth to want to be long i said have patience let this settle and let's look for a real entry even back then i said something around 20 dollars would make me a buyer quick pump all the way up to nearly 30 bucks in a slow meandering drop down as we can see this formation has been forming we need to break out of this range and then create higher moves higher so we did get long a little higher than we wanted around 22 because even i had the little fomo bug and then we uh, added in our original buy zone right here at 20 85 we've continued sideways we had one flush out and now we are moving higher what caused this turnaround and why do i want to remain long even though we are up 10 percent on our position essentially I've been saying, hey, we want to keep staying long. Even in the sideways, we're like, should we have a stop? Should we sell out? What are we doing? I want to remain long because the partnership with ESPN is going to be huge. And, of course, they are going to market it. ESPN bet, pl bet platform is not even live yet. And this news was coming on the back of some news that the ESPN bet platform is looking to go live before the NFL games that kick off on Thanksgiving, which is November 23rd. Now we do know it is November 13th, so they are running out of time. The promotion for e from ESPN has got to start soon. A promo code for ESPN bettors has got to start soon. And we know there is massive gambling that occurs on the Thanksgiving NFL games and also the Christmas NBA games. Don't forget that right now we do have NHL is live, NFL is live, MLS playoffs are live and the nba is live as well they got this in-season tournament going on and then they have the major games over christmas along with college football so this is the time of year if you are in gambling and sports book you need to have your platforms live to be capitalizing on everybody that is looking to place those bets we on that news we saw a massive rally and uh, I'm trying to stay long because this uh, news and the drop of the ESPN bets will send this thing higher. $24? Is it $35? I don't know. But as far as a technical perspective, we see here the RSI was overbought. We've had a reset even with price remaining strong here. And we continue to hold this trend line. As long as we hold this trend line, I still feel pretty good that my markings are accurate. We have a push higher, a retest. This could be the retest already happening. And then we have that moon mission towards 35, which would be the next target level. So overall, I'm liking from a TA perspective pen. I also like the sector. Gambling is continuing to put on more and more and more dollar increase for revenue across the board. Whether you're online casinos, whether you're sports books, whether you're MGM at Las Vegas, the numbers continue to rise as more and more people have access and interest in gambling and betting on both sports, casino games, and online games. That is why I like the sector. And then we have the partnership with ESPN, one of the largest sports platforms still. Uh, even with them losing some market share to FS1 and other podcasters, ESPN is still one of the largest around, backed by Disney, and has partnerships with UFC and other sporting programs. This partnership with Penn is massive, and once ESPN Bet goes live, hopefully, and I'm projecting before November 23rd, we will see a continuation in the stock. So if you're a part of Patreon.com slash LearnCrypto, you're up about 10.5% on the secondary double up position and 1.5% on the initial position. We are going to remain long. If you're not part of those, I still think this is an, an interesting area to start to get involved with Penn due to the fundamental catalysts are coming and my general outlook for the gambling sector as a whole. Now, we do think there is some short-term downside risk to stocks, which will put pressure on Penn. But overall, I think this is a comfy, comfy hold for a small to mid-cap stock uh, if you're looking for a little more risk because you like that upside potential. Check out Penn Stock. Join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto if you want time step stamped buys, sell, stop levels for stocks, including Penn. And again, you can do a simple Google search to understand that everything I'm saying is vetted. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.